You may be wondering why that traffic signal went flying. Well, lucky for you, I have one right here with me and I can show you how it mounts onto that span cable and why the damage would have occurred. These traffic signals are just made out of a heavy duty plastic. And what happens when plastic sits in the sun for 10, 15 years? Well, it gets real brittle. We call this a goose head. And this goose head is what attaches this traffic light to that span cable. You may be asking, what attaches this goose head to this traffic light? Well, let's go ahead and open this light up and I can show you exactly what it is. All it is is a big stainless washer and you got three all threads that come out and you just clamshell those two together. And that's how that goose head attaches to this plastic signal head. And we did say the sun causes a lot of damage to these signal heads. So after being in the field for 10 years, this plastic gets real brittle. Pretty common issue when these signal heads get pretty brittle is that this washer and everything that holds the weight of the signal, which is up here, this goose head, tends to rip through this plastic up top, especially in high winds, that will break the traffic light free from the span, and then it will just be held on by some cable. Now, when that cable can't hold up the light anymore, the light will come flying down to the ground. Now, you may ask, who's to blame for that? The contractor that installed the signal head or the city that's supposed to maintain the traffic lights? And because of the inclement weather, it's really just an act of God, and there's nobody to blame. Luckily, nobody got hurt in this situation, and they'll just need to replace that signal head.